Today I will be explaining the Skype video calling, how to do the video co calling over the Skype. So what are the objectives of this presentation? In this presenta presentation, we will cover what is Skype and what is the difference between Skype and Zoom. So the, uh, actually we are using the Zoom meeting, but we will know uh, why we are introducing the Skype application to you. Reviewing all the in-meeting settings option. So Skype. Skype is a video calling platform first released in 2003. Group video calls have a maximum of 50 participants. So uh, on Skype, we could participate uh, in the number of 50. Means if there are 50 participants, we could have a Skype meeting. There is a time limit of four hours per call. So time limit is four hours per call. And we could in a day, we could call for 10 hours. So it works over Apple and Android devices and the simple PC, the laptop as well, or the computer. Download Skype. How to download the Skype? Simply, if you're an Android user, go to uh, the Google Play Store and you could download it from there. You will need to start by downloading a Skype application. To download, visit this site, or you could visit the site skype.com n slash n slash get uh, hyphen and Skype. Downloaded, uh, downloading Skype on iPhone or iPad. How to download on, uh, if you are an yeah, if you're an iPhone or iPad user, then uh, if using the Apple, App Store, iPhone, uh, uh, iPhone or iPad, click get. So you, uh, because the Android and the iPhone uh, uh, functions are different. So on the iPhone, you have to click get option and then it will be download. Click, make sure that you have downloaded the right Skype, not the Skype yeah, business sorry. account. So uh, downloading Skype on Android, on the Google Play Store, search Skype and click install and uh, click on the Skype for uh, Skype Lite. Not, don't click on the Skype for business. There is a difference between the two Skype. Uh, if you are clicking the Skype Lite, uh, then the background is of blue. And if you're clicking for the Skype for business, then the background is white. Downloading Skype on the desktop, click Get Skype and choose the appropriate system to download it for either Mac, Windows, or Linux. So uh, you need an appropriate system to download the Skype. You, uh, I have, I'm a Windows 11 user. So I'm currently uh, my desktop having the Windows 11 so I could download the Skype on my laptop. Create a Skype account. How to create the Skype account? When you have downloaded it, then you have to create an account to, uh, uh, to share your videos with another. When you first open the application on any device, you will see the screen. This screen will appear. To create an account, click Create One. So you have to click on Create One and then Next. Create a Skype account. To create an account, you can either use phone number or your email address. It will automatically prompt for a phone number and click next. So you have to either click, uh, either fill your phone number or your email address to create an account. And then you have to click on next. Fill in your name and click next. So you have to, after you clicking on the next option, then you have to uh, submit your name, first name and the last name. And then you have to click on next. So then it will send, uh, if you already have a Skype account, uh, you could on only type your mobile number or the email address and then the password you have to uh, type in and then you have to click on sign in. Adding contacts on Skype. So once you have uh, opened your, created your account on the Skype by giving your email address or phone a number, uh, then you have to 
add the people on the Skype. To add people, click on the contacts button on the upper left side of the screen. So as you could see that this uh, box will appear on your screen once you have created your account on the Skype. So click on the contacts and add people on uh, in your the contacts which is available in your mobile. The Skype directory will appear. All the directories will appear to search for a contact type their full name, email address or Skype name into the search bar. So uh, you could search people by their email address or um, by their uh, name as well. Click add. So uh, to every name which will be appearing on your screen, you have to click add to their name calling a contact so when you could call a contact when it is green it is it means that uh, the person is available online when it is red it means do not disturb yellow away from keyboard or online he's not online for now gray it means that a person is offline so these are the symbols which will appear on your screen when you are using the skype and you have created the account calling a contact so how you could call a person so uh, when you click on the name of the person you have added in your skype account so you have to uh, click on the name of the particular person and then if you want to do video call then you have to click on the video call so as you could see that there are two options appearing on your screen a and b so the first option video call them or the B is the option voice call them and C is the option chat with them or you could simply just chat with them. On a Skype call computer, so on the computer when you are uh, clicking on the video, video calling and the voice calling, then the images of image of the person will appear. Your image will appear small in the corner. So how will your screen, uh, image will appear? It will appear uh, smaller in size and it will be in the middle of your screen. On a Skype call computer, while on the call, you can add more participants by clicking the add participants button chat. So you could just, when you are video calling with another person, you could add another people as well, chat with them, share your screens as well as I'm sharing my screen as, and as uh, and other people uh, attending the Zoom screen, uh, Zoom meeting today, they're uh, sharing their screen. So on the Skype as well, you could share your screen and send the reactions to them. On a Skype call computer, it's just simply uh, another type of Zoom meeting, but it has different features than Zoom. On a Skype call computer, while on the call, you can also select more options. So to select more options while you are on call with a person, you have to click on three dots and more options will be appear. So you could record your uh, Skype call. You could take a snapshot, a screenshot of your Skype call. Uh, you could turn on the subtitles as well, choose background effect or turn off incoming video, hold call, audio and video settings. You could do these things. On a Skype call on mobile, click on the three dots in the bottom corner, add people to the call, record the call, react in the call, add a heart, share your screen. So when you are clicking on the three dots appearing on your screen, that is option A. So, uh, more options will be appear and you could record the call as well Re uh, react on the call stop or start a video how could we stop a skype video lets you decide when you share your video mute microphone lets you stop sending the sound so um, there is there will be an option of the microphone which you could uh, mute and uh, you could talk with the, any other person. Stop or start video. Hang up the meeting. How to stop the meeting? Just click on the red button, red, uh, the telephone containing the red button. So you will hang up the meeting. You will stop the meeting.
changing our Skype status. If you want to change the Skype status, status, so uh, you could change your name, you could change your email address, you could do anything. So to change your own status, click the circle icon next to your name. In the top left corner, a drop down menu will appear with a list of op lists of options. Click on your current status, which is in this case is active. You will see more status options. Click the one that matches your status. So when you are active, it will appear the uh, green on your screen and you could change your name as well. Uh, so how could you change the name when you're clicking on your own uh, circle uh, means on your own account? So um, how could you find your own account when you are in the screen and you are clicking on the uh, circle? So that uh, in that way, you could change your email address and the name. Skype versus Zoom. So what is the difference between the Skype and the Zoom? This is what the meeting is all about. Skype. Skype hosts a video call with up to 50 people for uh, for up to four hours. Video call. So Zoom could hold only for two people, have a limit of 40 minutes, but up to 100 participants. So 100 participants could participate in the Zoom meeting. Document sharing that supports large files. So Skype supports large document sharing. Skype is part of. Uh, Office 365 package comes with Microsoft, PowerPoint, and Excel. So Zoom use the recording feature to save and document your sessions. In order to uh, document your session, it Zoom uh, have to record each and everything. And Skype is a part of Office 365 package. If you're buying the Office 365, so it will come with your uh, with that package. Skype is known to freeze up from time to time, conduct breakout sessions. So what is the benefit of the Zoom that you could conduct the breakout sessions? And what is the benefit of the Skype? Skype is known to freeze up from time to time means, yeah, it's more of the problem uh, because it stops from means uh, when you are uh, doing the v, uh, demo, you will understand what is means of the freeze, freeze up from time to time. So now it's time for the live demo. All right, so uh, first you could just Google download Skype. It's probably the easier way to do it. Or you could go to through the app store. It doesn't really matter. You would click on the first link. All right, so I already have Skype on my, my computer, so I'm not gonna go through the whole download process. But if you look at the bottom, the bottom of my screen where all the icons are, you can see that I'm highlighting Skype right here. It's that blue icon with the S on it. So I'm gonna open that up. All right, so I'm gonna sign, right now I'm signed in already but I'm gonna sign out just to show you all how to sign in. All right, so when you first download Skype and open it for the first time, you would have to sign in. So if you go into here, use another account, you would put in your phone, your email and create a password. But since I already have my account, I'm just going to sign in for here. All right, so there's a lot of buttons here and a lot of a lot of text to kind of play around with. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to create your own meeting. Um, on the left side, you will see that button that says meet now. You would just click on that. You could either host a meeting, which means create the meeting yourself, or you could join a meeting with your friends that has already been created. Um, since we don't have a lot of friends on this robot account, we're going to host our own meeting. All right, um, we will say Tuesday, International Women's Day. There we go, International Women's Day meeting. <laughs> Here we go. All right, we're going to start the meeting. Here we go. And we're in. You can see. You'll notice if, you, if you're a regular with our Cyber Seniors webinars and you come to all the meetings this week, a lot of the applications that we go over are very similar to Zoom. So you, you'll probably be really familiar with it right off the bat. 
you can see at the bottom, there's the microphone button, which mutes me and the video button, which turns off my video. Um, that red button is the end call button. There's a chat just like in Zoom where you could type and text people. There's um, sharing your screen, which that would kind of be pretty meta if I shared my screen on, on Skype too. Um, raise, raise your hand function and a reaction function, which gives you some little nice, nice little animated emojis here. All right, and as well, just like Zoom, you could see the participants list. Of course, there's only one of us right now because we don't have a lot of friends here. Um, I'm gonna end the call. So yeah, you've seen, now you've seen how to, to create a call. And you could also, not only can you create a, a video and a, a FaceTime call, you could um, create a chat. So it would, it would be the same, same kind of um, process. All right, I'm gonna go over a little bit how to sync your contacts because that's a pretty important thing. You wanna be able to meet with your friends. So on your phones, you have a, a list of contacts. And once you first open Skype, it'll give you an option to sync your contacts, which means just upload all your contacts. Everyone in your contacts list that has Skype will appear on this list right here. So right now you can't really see anything because of course, like there's, there's no contacts on connected to this Cyber Seniors account. But yeah, if you were to go through it, you would see all, all of your friends in this list. Lastly, we're gonna go over how to get some help with um, just general help. So there's this, this little button, these three dots, that'll take you to a lot of places. You can go to settings for your, for your profile, or you can go to help and feedback, which will take you to this page. And you could see on the right side of the screen, it says get help, and it'll take you to a, another website. So yeah, we're gonna close that out, go back to Skype. And then if you do wanna edit your profile, like your name, your password, contact info, all you would have to do is just press that little the little circle icon in the top left where it says CS, and that will allow you to manage your profile. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys. Uh, and if you have any questions, you could ask from uh, in your live demo. Thank you.